retinol, retinol, retinoic acid. What's the difference? Well, these are all forms of vitamin A. And as far as the skin goes, retinoic acid is the purest form of vitamin A. So the skin actually has a receptor called retinoic acid receptor. Whatever form of retinoid, which is this family of products you put on the skin, it has to be converted to retinoic acid. And the conversion pathway is retinol to retinol to retinoic acid. Retinol is also called retinaldehyde. And at each step of that conversion, there is some potency loss. So generally speaking, around about 10 times, but you know, that number's up for debate, but there's potency loss as you convert. And so I often explain it to patients in terms of pounds. So if you put 100 pounds of retinoic acid on the skin, 100 pounds activates the receptor. If you put 100 pounds of retinol, one conversion, 10 pounds activates the receptor. If you put 100 pounds of retinol, that's converted twice, so 10 pounds into one pound. So it's a very crude assessment or a crude way of thinking about it, but, but it gives an idea that these things are converted into this product ultimately. Now, this you have to be really careful with. Don't use it if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. And also if you first put it on your skin and you put it on too quickly, you're going to get a reaction. So I often say to people again, it's like a community police station, one police officer, and then the local hoodlums get a massive gang together and they all form a riot on the streets. That one police officer is not enough to control that riot. So they call in reinforcements. Before they do, you've got one police officer, one receptor, and then over time, more of them start appearing. And as they start appearing, they can better deal with the crime out there, the stuff that's going on. And it's the same with retinoic acid. More receptors, you can absorb more of it straight away. It takes a while to get more receptors from just one, so you put it on slowly to start with. Otherwise, you get this thing called a retinoid reaction. When you go red, you go crusty, you can actually cause damage to the skin. So it's prescription only for a reason, and it should be used very, very carefully. There are some products around now that have retinoic acid and lactic acid together, so it's absorbed more slowly that's not prescription that's what i tend to favor because it can be quite brutal starting retinoic acid but that's a quick overview of the difference between them and i think you should go for this one because ultimately your skin's ready for it